after putting up the the tank the long awaited miracle it went up and uh, unfortunately the metal rods that were supposed to support the tank must have been too weak for 1,000 liters of water. For 10,000 liters of water. This is a 10,000 liter tank. And so, as it is, the tank came crashing down. It came crashing down as the small house <laughs> that is housing the the well was still being built now the question was should the house be stopped or should they continue until they complete the house even as the tank is torn a tank that costs almost one thousand dollars to purchase and another money is to transport the same and more money is to put it up it is an interesting position altogether. I'm told the busting was very, very loud as the tank came down. People thought it was a bomb and a lot of people gathered to behold the wonder, the sudden noise that had been heard in the home. So, no more water here. And they have to again walk many kilometers in search of this very important commodity called water. With this tank, all the villagers were so blessed because they were able to draw water through that tap and so the distance covered in search of water had been reduced. Moreover, the possibilities of catching typhoid was now lower because this water has been treated and certified by the public health officer as water that is fit for human consumption. And so, looking at the stand and looking at the torn tank, we can say um, a loss of almost 300 uh, uh, sorry, $3,000 has been seen here. We are shaken, we are angry, but we need to move on with life. Either forget all about it altogether or set up another tank and to cost money. Don't know where that will come from just shaking.